Hayes on my wrist. See a fan, so I tatted it on it. What's good, Hayes? Where's your boy Tony Hayes back at you with another video, man? In today's video, we're going to be doing a really simple, easy QA and everything like that. Um, I'm gonna be putting all the questions here so you guys can read them and see that uses Instagram. So I'm answering questions off Instagram. Uh, so basically for future Q&A videos, go to my Instagram, leave a question when I post about it, and I'll answer everybody's question, no matter how, what the fuck the question is. Honestly, I don't care. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, the first question is from T. Alexis. I'm going to be shouting everybody out as I go along. Um, are you ever going to pursue your skills for tatting? Um, so for those of you who don't know, uh, I was working on becoming a tattoo artist for a little while. Um, I stopped my machines were broken and everything like that i never really replaced them or anything but um i feel like i should do that and continue i wouldn't i could turn it into a career if i wanted to but as of right now i don't think i want to but i could pursue the skills better um you know what i'm saying there's always room for improvement i'm not the best but uh, i'll show pictures on the screen now of the tattoos that i've done on myself um and everything like that you know what i'm saying just simple like easy things and yeah i feel like i can practice that and pursue it and do better at what i'm doing the next question is from the same person t alexis again i'm not about to keep saying your name you know who you are <laughs> um uh what do you want to do outside of youtube career wise career wise i want to do uh as i've said in my video on monday I want to do uh, like tech repairs, like electronic repairs and everything like that. I want to own a company where I fix cell phones, computers and everything like that. So far now I'm doing cell phones, mainly iPhones. Um, and I'm actually pretty good at it. Just not really a lot of work. You just got to make sure you do everything right. Put everything back in the phone, the right order. And actually make you make sure you follow in the steps correctly. I'll probably do a video sooner or later of me doing a repair. Um, but that is really what I want to do is my career. Like right now, I'm just working jobs and everything like that. Just trying to get money together um, so I can fund that and everything like that. And also, I want to, um, as well as that, I have other things I want to do that's not like career based, but it's just other things to help out the community and everything like that. Like I want to start organizations and stuff like that, a scholarship, but I have to earn money to do it. So besides YouTube, right now I work at a museum and I also do the cell phone repairs. So, you know, I want to turn the cell phone repair thing into a whole business, like into a whole franchise where I branched out like across the United States and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a good, nice thing. Um, and yeah, simple, easy stuff. Our next question, uh, same person. Thoughts about this pandemic, will we get some interesting content from you so my thoughts on the pandemic is basically like everything's fucked up right now shit's weird so um honestly it's not a lot of content to make as you guys know i do vlog sometimes but as of right now it's nothing i can really like go out and do so i'm trying to do more skits and everything like that. i try to do more challenges i can do at home but the pandemic is kind of messing with a lot of stuff i was laid off from work and shit's just crazy you know so everybody out there has been affected by the whole pandemic thing from COVID-19 I wish you all the best I hope that your lives are going to get better and you guys are going to be able to do better as people would move forward after to after this whole thing is afterwards after this whole thing is afterwards I'm dumb I mean after this whole thing is done with you're able to move forward with your lives and you're able to get back on your feet and be stable and everything um, so I wish you all the best and I'm hoping putting positive energy into the universe for you guys. Next question is from the same person. Can we get more game reactions? Um, I would love to do more gaming videos. Um, it's just more so you got to tell me what kind of videos you want to see. Like sometimes I want to do compilations on like funny moments I have playing the game with my friends and everything. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That shit's annoying. Um, but it's like... You know what I'm saying? I would love to do videos like that. This shit wouldn't really be a problem, technically, it's more so. So, um, just let me know what kind of games you guys want to see. I can do games mobile. Um, I can play games on PlayStation, do whatever you want to do. I'm primarily an Xbox user, but I'm using a PlayStation right now. 
Um, so, you know, I can just record videos for you. I mainly play Apex. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. So just let me know in the comments below or message me on Instagram, anything like that. And just let me know what it is that you guys actually want to see. Next question is from the same exact person again. <laughs> Uh, what's your main focus here on YouTube? What's in store for your subscribers in the future? You have really good questions. That's the funny part. I think you have like the best questions out of all the questions that I read. I think those questions are like legit the best because the shit's crazy. Um, and I appreciate you. Uh, but my main focus on YouTube, um, just deliver content. I try to have something positive for people to come and watch. I'm never negative on my channel and everything like that. Uh, you ain't about to see me and no beefs with nobody on YouTube. I don't got time for that shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I do want to get out a lot more skits, uh, a lot more vlogs when everything opens back up after this whole pandemic thing. Uh, I want everything to open back up and I'll be able to record vlogs and stuff like that with all my friends and everything. And I just want some, you know, positive shit going on and everything like that. Um, no negativity over here. The people could do or say whatever they want. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I just want to bring you guys good content to watch all the time. Uh, I know I've been a lot of flip floppy with most of the, uh, with like my schedule of posting and shit like that. But now I'm trying to stick to a schedule uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You know what I'm saying? So just like recording in between, give me time to take breaks and think about what I'm going to do, uh, what the next video is going to be and everything like that. So just stay tuned. Um, I have another video coming on Friday. That's going to be the full review of the iPhone SE. Um, going to be pretty cool standard stuff. Next question is, same person. Do you see YouTube being a long-term thing? Uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> I've been doing YouTube since about uh, 2016, I want to say, somewhere around that time, 2015, 2016, when I was in the ninth grade in high school and everything like that. I started then, then I like stopped, took a break, like I was posting like random ass skits, rants, and all this other shit like that, so you know, and the channel was actually doing pretty good, um, that's when I first got to like 50 subscribers when I was doing that and it was a nice little fun thing so um after I took like a break from it I just stopped doing it for a little while it's been years I deleted all those old videos I should have kept them on there so the new people could laugh at me because this shit was goofy and I can't even find those videos no more that's the crazy part but I definitely see YouTube being a long-term thing it's always something new to record I'm always on my phone anyway um and I'm always out doing something so it's always something to do and something to record. Um, if this, if YouTube, like if I grow better and get bigger and it starts to stress me out, of course I'll take breaks and everything like that. But I just want to be able to come and deliver you guys content every now and then. So it's not really a big problem. Next question is what drove you to do YouTube was from the same person. What drove me to do YouTube, um, I got bored one day when I was younger. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember you know what I'm saying? I had like a nugget ass cut. Head was bald and shit. And I was recording videos and everything like that because I was bored. And I was, I thought I was a pretty funny person. Other people thought so. So I just started doing like random ass videos and everything like that. It wasn't really nothing too major or anything. So um, I just decided to keep doing it because people just, you know what I'm saying? People like my videos and people enjoy what I do. And I think I have like the perfect personality to be doing YouTube videos and stuff like that. I know you guys may see me as like chill, but honestly, sometimes I could be really <laughs> teed up. So <laughs> it's whatever, you know what I'm saying? So fuck it. Had to switch phones so you guys can see actually what video looks like on here now, but I had to switch because this phone ran out of storage. So what question was that on? There was a question from Rebel the Icon. Um, okay why people change on people that have good intentions um personally i want to say shit like that happens because they have an alter uh, an alternative motive and everything like that ulterior motive whatever you want to call it i forgot what the term was um and it's something that they wanted in the beginning to deal with in the first place and so 
after they get that, they switch up and they fake or it's some other shit. Most people do it for status quo. Um, some people do it, you know what I'm saying, just for like stupid reasons. Like it's never a good reason to be doing it in the first place. So um, if this shit's happening, you you know what I'm saying, just hang in there. Good people, good people will actually come around. Um, not everybody is so negative all the time. The next question comes from Wavy Wavy Sims. Sorry, I fucked your name up. Uh, what is your desired career field? I answered this question already. So it's uh, mobile repair and everything like that, like electronic repairs and shit. I want to own a store in DC first and then open up an entire franchise across the United States doing uh, tech repairs like cell phones, laptops, computers, uh, TVs probably at some point. And just stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Just easy, simple work. Ho oh, Nico two times asked, what made you want to continue the YouTube grind? Um, what made me want to continue doing it? It's a pretty fun thing to do. I mean, I can't complain about it. Um, I know I have a really small channel right now, but I'm going to keep going in the first place. I'm gonna keep going no matter what, keep working hard uh, and get to where I want to be with this whole YouTube thing. Um, so what maybe want to continue is this would be a great way for me to voice my opinion when it gets larger and be able to have a voice and be able to change the world and change the uh, DMV community specifically and get everything to be a better and positive world. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was saying, like, no, that's why I said earlier, like, no negativity on my channel. It's nothing but positivity. I'm not beefing with anybody. I don't want to beef with anybody. It doesn't make any sense to do that. And I just want, you know what I'm saying? I just want people to have a place to turn to when they're down, have a, people to have a place to turn to when they're happy, when they're sad. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just want everything to get better. So I'm thinking about hosting events with this whole pandemic thing. I don't know if I'll be able to do it during the summer, but I'll give you guys more details on that in another video. So yeah, I want to continue this YouTube grind because I just want to change the world and have a bigger voice for everybody to be, you know what I'm saying? For everybody to tune into, for everybody to listen to, for everybody to see that there's positivity out in the world and not just negativity and hate. The next question is from that girl, Ty. Are you single? Yes, I'm single. Um, I've been out of a relationship for a few months. Um, shit's stressful, but I don't want to dwell too much into it. But yes, I am. Te I'm technically single. So, you know, I'm just chilling and doing me, being myself and everything like that. The next question we have is from IMV. How do you feel about the world today? And how do you view future on Earth? The world today is full of negativity, crime, um, and hate. And I really don't like it, like, at all. I don't, I can't connect with it, can't vibe with it, none of that. Um, like, my friends, they're really good people and everything like that. They've been with me, stood with me through a lot of shit. Um, so especially my best friend you know what i'm saying she's been with me through a lot of shit so um i just want to say that um the world needs changing and so how i view the future on earth i see me maybe if not directly changing it that i've given people the hope and the belief that they can change it and they will change it one day um I don't want everything to be all crazy and fucked up and everything like that. Sorry if the audio is a little weird because I was using my AirPod at first and it was connected to this phone and now I'm just talking. So I don't know how good this sounds right now. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just want the world to change and that's all I'm really here for. The next question is raising two queens. She has two daughters. <laughs> it's lit. Um, which is better, Wendy's or McDonald's? I like McDonald's better. Wendy's is, I don't know. Like it was good at one point, but I think I've had it too much. So I don't really like it anymore. The McDonald's is always the same. And it seemed like um, Wendy's has changed somehow or something. Like, I don't know. I just don't really like it like that anymore. 
Um, and the last question of today's video comes from AA for Aaliyah. Do you eat butt? Yes. No, I don't eat ass. That's fucking trifling. And I'm telling your mother <laughs> that you're asking questions like this. Well, your mother can see the video. You're wild. But anyway, that'll be it for today's video. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed my responses to you guys' questions. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. DM it to me on Instagram. Or if I post about it on my Instagram story, make sure you respond and ask all the questions you want. I will answer each and every question. My name is Tony Hayes. And I am out. Peace. Why can't they just go back to the way they were? You were so happy then. Bitch, no, I'm a godsend. Lights flash, got her head.